Well, he climbed up and got back up again, and he's joined us here. Welcome back, Brian. Well, it's absolutely marvellous to be here. Wow. I mean, it's terrific amongst all these wonderful doyens on the day serene. <laughs> well, they and and Jessie looking gorgeous. She never swears in the House of Commons, do you? But she does that with her nose. That means she's saying something when she does that. I <laughs> watch her all the secrets. time. Right. Can I shall, say... I shall I just rip up the question? <laughs> no, I do. No, I want to stop. <laughs> can, I say, can I say something here and now, Andrew? This is my favourite programme. My wife adores Nick. My wife adores Nick. It's my favourite programme. I want to say the most dangerous thing you can do on Everest is wear green. Oh. I mean, have you, Why have is you, that? Well, look at this. Oh, green. my God, he's wearing a green shirt. <laughs> His shirt's are Why? 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 I don't, God knows why. I think, Did I you mean, just he, make that he, up? He could pass on a Borean, and couldn't he? I think in Flash Gordon. <laughs> he, that's lovely green. No, he, look, he looks the king of the leprechauns. Why can't you wear green on Everest? Because it's, it's very bad luck. Oh. oh, oh, that's a reason. I mean, I mean, the worst. I mean, the worst. <laughs> I, I know you've torn up your uh, questions, Andrew. Well, you're not going to go dry up on I, me. I'm now, not going to dry up. <laughs> One of the I won't dry up, I promise, and I'll have next water. Now you know it's vodka. <laughs> I'm crying. It's good. <laughs> oh, my God. I have Russian blood. I have Russian blood. <laughs> I have Russian blood. <laughs> so, anyway, no, I think the most dangerous thing that you can face on Mount Everest, you always must make sure you camp above the French. <laughs> well, because they will. Crap on you from a great height. <laughs> they they, they, they really pollute the water. <laughs> you get underneath. I remember, I remember uh, there were Debbie and Appleman Adams saying, Look out, Brian, turds at two o'clock. Does they this bring do... us back to the European Union? Uh, they, absolutely. <laughs> well, is something going on in Europe? Oh, Not uh, at all. No, no, I Why are you always putting your life on the line? Oh, well, I mean, I, I love it, really. I mean, it's. Uh, I, I just. I think the greatest danger in life, you know, I'm being very philosophical here. I think the greatest danger in life is not taking the adventure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think there are Everests everywhere. Here I go, I mean, it can be your garden, it, it can, can be your garden shed, whatever it is, your greenhouse, whatever. I, I mean, we all Why have our Everests. Risky? But I think that... No, it's a you, challenge, you mean. Oh, the challenge. It's a challenge. Yeah. I mean, well, it's challenges a challenge. challenges in your garden shed? Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so, I mean, there are Everests everywhere. And, um, and therefore, I mean, since the age of seven, I always wanted to follow in Mallory's footsteps, wearing the same clothes. And, OK, so don't... Nick, I'm no, not, no, 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 it's no. all right, Nick, don't worry, I'm not going to grab you, I promise. <laughs> I think you just so, did. Uh, this, is, this, is what it's like, this is what it's like at base camp. Just as well as late night You tend to grab people like this. Is this what the French do? It's what the French do. <laughs> no, I think that uh, it actually is uh, quite a serious thing, going to the toilet on Mount Everest. <laughs> and, and we were at 27,000 feet, Embleman Adams and I, Graham Hoyland, myself, and Doji. Anyway, the wind was blowing. We were about to go for the summit. And uh, suddenly, Amberman Adams said to me, I've got to go for a crap. I said, you can't go for a crap. You can't. We're well, at 27,000 feet. The wind's blowing everywhere. It's a four-mile drop. Four of us in a two-man tent. This is reality. I said, no, no, no. I, I said, crap in your pants. I said, God, I'm a gentleman. Oh, for God's sake, it'll turn to dust. As it does at altitude. Come on, oh. give me his... Sh be quiet, then. So <laughs> I grabbed it. I brought his body across me. Well, easy, because the bloody carabiners are coming out with a four mile drop what? into the comb. Carabiners. And I got carabiners. For climbing. For climbing. Oh. So I got him across my body, unzipped, oh. and the snow's coming in. He went out there and said, Tie off! Because his brain wasn't working. I have this gift for altitude, and they, they didn't have. I said, Tie yourself off, tie yourself off. Think of your mother, think of your children. Try and keep concentrated. And he went out there, and of course, we are. Uh, he had a crap. <laughs> and no, I think we've established he came that. back in, and I got to get him across my body, get him across my body, and I said, ah, oh, we're still alive. I thought, Christ, well, oh, we better have a brew up. And uh, we're just getting the brew up ready, and suddenly Graham Hoyland said, there's a terrible smell of shit. <laughs> and I turned round, and there was a turd on Eppleman Adam's shoulder. Now, <laughs> what had happened was he'd had a crap, the wind had blown it up in the air, and there'd been a lull in the wind, and it had landed on his shoulder. <laughs> and, and that's the glamour of Mount Everest. You, don't, you, know, you make it sound so you don't. You don't get this on Newsnight. No, but... Uh, uh, you don't get no, this on Panorama. No. In Panorama. No. No. Each no. Each no. Each no. Each no. Each you don't get this on Pastor ITV, do you? I mean, you don't get this on the news. You don't you get this on You don't get the, don't don't get the reality of what Everest is. No, you're going to do the opposite of Everest, I'm told. You're going to go to the deepest floor of the Earth. 
ocean. Look, it's an ambition. I, I want to go to 37,000 uh, feet deep, the Marianas Trench. I do want to go down there. That's my next adventure. I, of course, have completed. I'll make this straight and clear now, because there's no end to my talents, Michael, <laughs> as you know, and I do love that shirt. I'm jealous, I'm jealous. Uh, but I have completed 800 hours uh, space city uh, uh, space training. Wow. And I've been training in the uh, Reunion Island in the Pacific. So you can and either I've been go training up or with down. NASA, and I'm training where I'm So, so I'm if now you have the choice to uh, go up the so way, so I'm or now down a fully trained cosmonaut. Do you think you're Fantastic. easy to train? Oh, very, very. I'm very disciplined. <laughs> yes. Listen I, carefully to the lectures. It, it, How do you complete that procedure you just talked about? But the crap. No, no, don't there. go there. No, 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 no. I thought <laughs> of that, but I thought no. Don't, don't go there. No, no. no, no. But but time. you're taking another big risk. Are you directing a play now? What I'm directing doing? a play because you've got you've done your work. Yeah. yeah. Well, tell us. Well, I don't, as I said, there is no talent. You're looking What's it at a, you're looking at a genius, and I I've always been humble and so forth. Give us the name. By the way, I. I've just said. I'm trying to I, get your plug I, here. Was, I was a master of ceremonies for the oh. Hong Kong handover. Right. Do you remember yeah. that? Yes, I yes. remember that. There you are, Jess. You didn't know that, love. Well, I, we're going to have to I, I, I actually Good. handed over Hong Kong. I hope Good. I'm not going to have to hand over Good London. Good luck with. Am I then, my uh, We're going to have to hand over to continuity. Good luck, though, with the play. Thank it's you. great to have you. And obviously, once again, public service broadcasting at its finest. <laughs> That's your lot for tonight, folks, but not for us, because today was Jezza's 67th birthday. I know that Jess would want to celebrate Jezza's birthday. Charles Clark's mini-cab's waiting outside. He's going to whisk us all to the Red Rose Tandoori in Islington North. We're going to share a Kim and Anne at the feet of the great man. But we leave you to... Oh, hold on, what's that? It's not only Jezza's special day, I'm told. Also, Michael Portillo. Oh, and we've bought him a cheap cake. Oh. And we all have to sing happy birthday. Oh. Or he's going to storm out in a strop, as he often does, <laughs> taking his lime green shirt with him, which could be a blessing. Nighty night. Don't let the birthday boy bite. Cue the music. Day to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Let's have some cake. <laughs> ah, he's cutting the cake.